Jin Dobre, everyone. Attica Schaefer here, bringing you this important message from our sponsor, Banana, at 44 period 99. That's one banana for $44.99. What a deal, eh? Alrighty, kids. So today, we're back in the wonderful world of Unturned. And if you guys saw last episode, we were in this town here, Alberton. And uh, we cleared it out. We came in with a swift vengeance. It's been some time since then. Went back to our little uh, Trapper Shack Fort Shire up here in between Charlottetown and Wellington Farm. Did a couple things. I built some more storage chests for all of my cool stuff that I was collecting with you guys on our travels. And uh, speaking of which, I need to do this. Um, it was actually funny because uh, this is that gun that we got from the police station a few episodes back, and I was saying how I didn't like it because it was fully automatic. Well, when I went to re-watch the footage for that episode, I saw that actually you can change it from uh, semi to, uh, or from auto to safe to semi. So we get to keep it on semi now. We also have this cool little Russian pistol thing that we got from the bank in uh, Alberton. But today, we get to begin the big climactic push for the rest of the map. So we are going to head over here. We're going to check out this Confederation Bridge. And in the next couple of episodes, we're going to look at the military base, Stratford, which looks to be the biggest uh, town in the map. And uh, we're going to check out Cape Rock and everything over here. And all of that is to get ourselves ready for the big assault on Belfast Airport at the end of the series. That's going to be our series finale, but we're not quite there yet. We still got a ways to go. I uh, spent some time collecting up some food, and you know what? It was a long drive slash walk over here, so I'm going to eat myself a little granola bar, and I'm going to have some uh, bottled energy. Good old preservatives and chemicals going in, right? And we're going loud. We're going proud. I used the katana to get up here, but now... It's time to go pistols and see what other kind of gear and weapons and stuff we can get. So here we go, you guys. I'm happy you're tagging along with me. It's always better with you watch my back. Okay, so I see a little tent there. Swag. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Whoa! They all spawned in. I see a medical tent there, too. We can use some more medical stuff. Mm. Oh, is this a military? <clears throat> oh, you guys, this is a military checkpoint. Okay, so it's not one shot, one kill. <clears throat> that one was. Ha <laughs> ha! Achievement unlocked! Experience. Okay, so if these are military dudes, we should be getting some good stuff. Pick up earpiece. No thank you. It's been in some zombie's ear. Oh, black smoke. I wonder if you can chuck smoke like a grenade. Oh, you can! Oh, and it's like an attractor. Oh, that's so cool. How long have they been keeping this poor cow hostage here? Doesn't matter. We're okay now. Getting some medical stuff. Oh, by the way, we just picked up that suture kit that was on the table right there. So, yeah, we uh, we found one of those in a previous episode, if you guys will remember. Yeah, we found it in Alberton, actually. I had to use it between last episode and this episode, because when we I was back at the house, um, I accidentally stepped into the barbed wire. Let's just say it's very sharp. And I almost died. And then, um, another adventure magazine. And then I actually did die. Desert Falcon magazine? Magazine. Magazine? What's this say? And then I actually did die between last episode and this episode because I was trying to find some food in Charlottetown. And, uh, yeah, it was bad. Anyway, we're here now. Mission briefing 2209. Subtract 12. Okay, 10 o'clock. Don't see me. Um, 
Details are still sparse, but reports of a highly contagious virus are coming in from across the country. Before going dark, the federal government ordered the destruction of Confederation Bridge to prevent the virus from spreading here. Your unit is assigned the bridge. Whichever munitions you need are at your disposal. Well, guess what, you idiots? It didn't work. And he prevented me from getting out. Ah. Uh, don't go. Ooh, a military ammunition crate. Don't go blowing up the bridge. Okay, so you guys, so, so far. At every military installation we have come to, it's actually kind of been a bust. Like, we find stuff, but we don't find, like, guns and gear and stuff. We just find this stuff. Uh, I just realized how big that dude is. Oh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh, that is not good! He just threw a rock at my face! Ah! He did it again! Ow! Oh, brother's gonna kill me! Big dude's gonna kill me! I'm dying! Oh my god. No! Oh, that dude absolutely wrecked me! That dude absolutely wrecked- Okay, well, here's the house. I cut down some birch trees and I got storage. Oh, man. Yeah, it was, uh... It was so bad. We gotta get our stuff before it despawns. Wow. Okay. I don't have my chart. Oh, I hope I can find my way back. This is the wrong way. I already went the wrong way. This is not starting off well. Meh. I know I only have 8% of fuel left. This is what I did with the other car before I, uh, before I ran out of gas. Wow. I mean, wow, that dude just wrecked me. I was not expecting a big behemoth guy to start chucking rocks at my face. So that's a thing. How are you guys doing? The Santa Ana winds were absolutely nuts out here. Last week, um, the reason why I got delayed in uploading more videos of this series was because the Santa Ana winds were blustering here in the state of California. And, um, yeah, I mean, the power company had this genius idea that to prevent wildfires, they would shut off power to people's houses. But it didn't prevent wildfires from happening and it's really bad because like hundreds of thousands of people had to be evacuated and stuff like that so again they they were planning for something that they really did not do a good job of executing which is unfortunate um but yeah so prevented me from uploading stuff but there were no fires here thankfully but uh obviously there were some uh in different parts of the state and a lot of people got affected by it, it was really unfortunate so, yeah. And we ran out of gas. We're on foot. We're on foot from here. Man. Oh, it is, it, yeah, this is ridiculous. Because of the other zombies, I mean, I needed to mag dump on uh, Commander Douchebag over there, but I wasn't able to because of all the other zombies. I, they're, they're faster than he is, so I don't want them to maul me, but then he starts chucking rocks in my face, and that's super bad. Use my last bandage too, um, and I couldn't get to the suture kit fast enough because we had just equipped it. Man, nuts! Absolutely nuts. That bridge is dangerous. If it's this bad at a military checkpoint, I, I'm. I can only imagine how bad the military base is gonna be, you guys. <sighs> so much for he me hitting multiple POIs in one episode. Ah, well, it's all good. It's the name of the game, I suppose, eh? The name of the game is Unturned, which means we should not turn into a zombie. Mm. We'll worry about that later. Right now, let's get our stuff. Hopefully all the douchers didn't respawn. Oh, goody, they did. Yeah, right here. I want my stuff back. 
speed picking it up, man. I'm just mashing the F key. Mm, mash that F key. Alright. Shred. Why did it put it all in my shirt? I am committed to being a Mountie. I mean, I really am. So, you gotta put the Mountie shirt back on. Salvage. And hopefully we can craft another bandage. Yes, we can. Okay. Three. Four, because we're going to need it. Ton, I'll go in here. My shirt. And I want... Do this. And I'll do... Alright. Let's take vengeance. These douchebags killed us, and we gotta give vengeance! And also check out the rest of the bridge. <clears throat> Looks like Captain Fantastic is gone, so that's good. Ah. <laughs> uh. Got those guys. So he's right there. Wouldn't that be funny if he was right there hiding behind that thing? And then he just caught and came out and he was like, I'm still here! Looks like some stuff respawned. I'll take another Avenger magazine. Although it's a <gasps> Ooh. Oh, a forest military vest. Oh, that's way better than the police vest that we have on because it looks military. I dig me some olive drab. I didn't drop the metal, but okay. Oh, wait, let's... More storage space, which is good. Salvage. Okay, what does it take to repair you? Metal, which I have. Yay! Oh yeah, that looks nice. We're getting tactical. Any more bandages in here? Wow. I could not aim for a second there. Alright. This is what we're talking about here. Bandages, another suture kit, more vaccines. Again, it goes back to high risk, high reward, eh guys? Alrighty, what's here on the rest of the bridge? I don't need any more of your smoke polluting our air. It's over here. Ooh, a military knife! You gotta try that bad boy out. Alrighty then. That happened. We got ourselves another ace clip. And, uh... Let's see what else we got. Red smoke. Military top. Nah, you can keep your military top. I'm a Mountie, brother. And keep your hockey stick, eh? Alrighty, I do believe we successfully cleared out the Confederation Bridge. So check this out, you guys. I'm kind of an idiot right now because uh, I was so excited about playing the game, I completely forgot to turn on my timer. And uh, I don't know what time I started, and I don't want to make it too, too long of a video. <coughs> I'd rather make it short and then know that I have the time to go longer in a different episode. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say thank you to you guys for watching. I'm going to say... That next episode, even though we are horrifically underprepared for it, we're going to assault Summerside Military Base, and we're going to see what happens.
I hope you guys will come over and check it out. You don't want to miss it. I'm probably going to die a lot, but you know what? That's okay, because we're going to own some face. All right, you guys. Love you guys. You're awesome, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Dovidzenia.